Hello and welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Tonight's contenders will answer questions on the writer who captured the decadence of pre-war Berlin, a 1990s pop genre, the most famous English king and the great naval battles of the First World War. After the weeks of revising, our four contenders get only two minutes to show off all their knowledge or succumb to the pressure of that menacing black chair and the ticking clock. The winner tonight gets a place in the semi-finals. So, let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Jenny Delaney. Your occupation? Test publisher. And your chosen subject? Henry VIII. Henry VIII's in two minutes started now. Who acted as regent for the first weeks of Henry VIII's reign because he was only 17 years old on his accession to the throne in 1509? Margaret Beaufort. Yep. What was the name of Henry's groom of the stool and confidant who was executed in 1536 after he was accused of adultery with Anne Boleyn? Henry Norris. Yes, a ruby donated by Louis VII of France that had adorned the tomb of an English saint was set into a thumb ring for Henry after the saint's shrine had been destroyed. Which saint was it? Thomas Becket? Yes. In 1538, construction began on a palace for Henry at Cuddington in Surrey that was said to be without equal. What was his name? None such palace. Yes. In November 1509, he appointed Thomas Wolsey to a post whose chief duty was to distribute the king's charity to the poor. Which post? Lord High Almoner? Yes, who was appointed Vicar General by Henry in 1535 and produced a detailed account of church lands and revenues. Uh, Thomas Cromwell. Yes. A verse from which book of the Old Testament was used by Henry to justify the annulment of his marriage to Catherine of Aragon, as it suggested that any marriage to a brother's wife would be childless? Leviticus. Yes. What was the name of Henry's favourite fool who served the king for the latter part of his reign? Will Summers. Yes. At which palace did he marry Catherine Howard on the 28th of July, 1540? Oatlands Palace? Yep. In 1511, he joined the Papal States, Spain, Venice and the Holy Roman Empire, in an alliance against France. What was its name? The Holy League. Yes. Which skirmish on the 16th of August, 1513, during Henry's invasion of France, is so called because of the speed at which the French cavalry fled the field of battle? Battle of the Spurs. Yes. What nickname is commonly given to Henry's military campaign that laid waste to the Scottish lowlands? His aim was to force the Scots to agree to the marriage of Queen Mary to his son Edward. The rough wooing. Yes. Which artist was sent to Germany to paint Anne of Cleves when Henry saw the resulting portrait? He instructed that the marriage negotiations should continue. Hans Holbein. Young. Yes. What Act of Parliament passed in early 1533 confirmed Henry's supremacy over the Church of England and effectively prohibited the Pope from judging on the annulment of Henry's marriage to Catherine of Aragon? The Act of Supremacy? The Act of In Restraint of Appeals. What a pity, because <laughs> everything else you got spot on. No passes, 13 points. Thank you. And our next contender, please. Your name is? Leah Massey. Your occupation? A buyer. And your chosen subject? Britpop. Britpop, the movement dominated by the rivalry between Blur and Oasis. Two minutes starting now. In August 1995, Blur and Oasis released singles in the same week. Which Blur song outsold Roll With It by Oasis to get to number one? Country House. Yes, Richard Ashcroft was the lead singer of a band that split up after the release of their second album, A Northern Soul. Which band? The Verve. Yes, in which city was the band Supergrass, formed in 1993 by Gaz Coombs, Danny Goffey and Mick Quinn? Sheffield. Oxford. Which 1990s television show used a snippet of the Riverboat song by Ocean Colour Scene as an introduction to its mostly Britpop musical guests? TFI Friday. Yes. What music magazine featured a picture of Suede's Brett Anderson against the background of the Union Jack on the cover of its April 93 edition? Select. Yes. In August 96, a reported two and a half million people applied for tickets to see Oasis play at a two-day festival at what Hertfordshire venue? Nebworth. Yes. Which pulp song contains the line, you will never understand how it feels to live your life with no meaning or control? Babies. Common People. The third solo album by Paul Weller was released in 95 and features contributions from Noel Gallagher and Ocean Colour Scene's Steve Craddock. What's it called? Pass. 
For which record label, a subsidiary of London Records, did the band Menswear sign for a reported advance of £90,000? Food. Laurel. What is the title of Blur's 94 album, whose tracks include Tracy Jacks, London Loves and To The End? Modern Life is Rubbish. Park Life. What name was given to the stage at the Glassbury Festival that saw many performances by Britpop bands? It was renamed The Other Stage in 1997. Pyramid. The NME Stage. Which band was formed in 96 by the guitarist John Squire after he left the Stone Roses? They released their debut album, Do It Yourself, in 97. Black Grape. Seahorses. For what label, founded by Alan McGee in 1983, did acts such as Oasis, Ride, Super Furry Animals and the Boo Radleys all sign? Creation. Yes. Which London-based band, fronted by Louise Wiener, had eight UK top 40 hit singles during the 1990s, the first of which was In Betweener in January 1995? Sleeper. Sleeper is correct. You had one pass, Leah. The uh, third solo album by Paul Weller, released in 95, was called Stanley Road. Just that one pass, Leah, you have scored seven points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. <laughs> and your name is? Jack Blankensop. Your occupation? Proofreader. And your chosen subject? Christopher Isherwood. The author whose writing was the inspiration for that great film, Cabaret. Here we go, two minutes. Which character from the Berlin stories was modelled on the rebellious British singer and model Jean Ross? Sally Balls. Yes, in the early 1940s, Christopher Isherwood had writer's block and during that time immersed himself in his conversion to a school of mystic philosophy. Which philosophy? Vedanta. Yep. At which prep school did he meet W.H. Auden, who was later a literary collaborator and lifelong friend? Repton. St Edmunds. Who travelled with Isherwood and contributed the photographs to his South American travel book, The Condor and the Crows, published in 1949? William Caskey. Yes. When Isherwood was six, his father began to compile an illustrated daily newspaper to encourage his reading and writing. What did he call it? My Family and Me. The Toy Draw Times. What were Isherwood's middle names, which he dropped when he became an American citizen in 1946? They also provided the name of the narrator in Mr Norris Changes Trains. William Bradshaw. Yes, Mr Norris from the Berlin Stories was based on which real-life sinister character whom Isherwood described to Stephen Spender as the mammon of unrighteousness? Gerald Hamilton. Yes, what was the name of the mountain in the title of the Auden collaboration published in 1936? K2. No, F6. What is the title of the Book of Nonsense poems that he created in 1926 with the young illustrator Sylvain Mangeau? The Mortmere stories. People one ought to know. With which lifelong friend whom he met at Repton Public School did Isherwood create the Mortmere fantasies which ridiculed British traditions and the public schools that perpetuated them? Edward Upward. Yes. What is the title of Isherwood's first autobiography, published in 1938, subtitled An Education in the Twenties? Lions and Shadows. Yes. What cause had Isherwood recently converted to when he left Europe in 1939, mainly because his former lover had not been able to avoid conscription into the German army? Pacifism. Yes. In the early 1940s, he worked with the Hindu monk Swami Prabha Vananda on a translation of which important Vedic text? Bhagavad Gita. Yes. What is the name of Isherwood's long-term partner, whom he met in 1953 in Santa Monica? He became an established artist and is renowned for the portraits he drew of Isherwood during his final illness. Don Bacardi. Is correct. Jack, you have no passes. You've scored ten points. Thank you. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Bruce Horton. Your occupation? Uh, unemployed. And your chosen subject? The Royal Navy in the First World War. In two minutes, starting now, who was first Sea Lord at the outbreak of the First World War? He was replaced by Sir John Fisher in October 1914 because of his German ancestry. Prince Louis of Battenberg. Yes. At what battle on the 28th of August 1914 did the German fleet have such severe losses that Kaiser Wilhelm II ordered all future naval operations to be personally approved by him? Dogger Bank. Heligoland Bight. Which dreadnought battleship served as the flagship of the Grand Fleet during the Battle of Jutland? 
Iron Duke. Yes, which Norfolk coastal town was bombarded by a German squadron commanded by Admiral Hipper on the 3rd of November 1914? Yarmouth. Yes, which light cruiser was torpedoed by U-21 on the 5th of September 1914? It was the first sinking of a British warship by a German submarine. Uh... HMS Hermes. Pathfinder. Who commanded the battlecruiser fleet of Jutland and is famous for his remark that there seems to be something wrong with our bloody ships today? David Beatty. Yes, during the Battle of the Falklands, a British cruiser was running out of coal as she chased down the SMS Nuremberg, so had to burn the officers' wardroom furniture. What was the name of the cruiser? HMS Kent. Yes. What designation was given to ships that masqueraded as merchant ships but carried concealed armament and a Royal Navy crew? They lured U-boats to the surface and attacked them. Q-ships. Yes. Which British submarine evaded minefields to navigate into the Sea of Marmara and sink the Turkish battleship Mesudia? E-7. HMS B-11. What was the name of the cruiser that was carrying Lord Kitchener to Russia when it struck a mine and sank off the Orkneys on the 5th of June 1916? HMS Hampshire. Yes, a 16-year-old boy who was a sight-setter on board HMS Chester was awarded a posthumous Victoria Cross for his actions during the Battle of Jutland. Who was he? Uh, Jack Cornwell. Yes. What was the unofficial name of the naval code-breaking section that was taken from the number of the Office of the Admiralty where it worked? Room 40. Yes, the majority of the Grand Fleet was moved to a sea inlet in Ireland in October 1914, while Scarpa Flow was made more secure from attack. Which inlet? Lock U. Lock Swilly. No passes, Bruce. You have nine points. Thank you. And now it is that time when we invite all our contenders back into the studio for the first time together. And we move now on to the general knowledge round. Two and a half minutes of questions this time. And if there's a tie at the end of it, the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, there has to be a tie break. And remember, the contenders at this stage don't know what each other has scored because they were out of the studio at the time. So for everyone at home, let's have a look at all the scores. As always, we start with the contender with the lower score, and that is Leah. And uh, you, for the benefit of the others, scored seven points and you now face two and a half minutes of general knowledge. Here we go. Which French engineer is best known for the tower in Paris that bears his name? Uh, Eiffel. Yes. In what Japanese sport is a tournament that lasts for 15 days? It's known as a basho. Sumo. Yep. Who is described by Brutus as the last of all the Romans in Shakespeare's Julius Caesar? Uh, Cleop uh, Anthony. Cassius, what is the title of Thomas Keneally's 1982 Booker Prize winning novel that's set in German occupied Poland and was made into an Oscar winning film? Schindler's List? Yes, Schindler's Ark. Reginald Bunthorne is the principal male character of which Gilbert and Sullivan operator? Pirates of Penzance. Patience, what basic surveying instrument was first described by the 16th century English mathematician Leonard Diggers? Pass. What type of aircraft was the Hindenburg? It exploded in a ball of fire as it came into land at Lakehurst, New Jersey, in May 1937. Helium blue. It was an airship. How many senators does each American state send to Congress? Two. Yep. What name that means treasure in Greek is given to a book of systematised lists of synonyms and related words? Thesaurus. Yes. Who plays the father of three, Greg Farrell, who has to cope when his wife suddenly walks out on him in the 2018 television miniseries Come Home? Pass. What native British bird gets its name from its call that resembles the sound of two pebbles being knocked together? Pass. What month of the year is named after the two-headed Roman god of doors, gateways and beginnings? February. January. Which English South Coast resort is the destination of the Veteran Car Rally inaugurated in 1896 to commemorate the lifting of the Red Flag Act? Goodwood. No, Brighton. What aristocratic sounding term is used to refer to a pair of beef sirloins joined together at the backbone? Pass. Which band formed in Los Angeles in 1983 won a Grammy for Best Rock Album for Stadium Arcadium at the 2007 ceremony? Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yes. Who led his country during a period in 1815 known as the Hundred Days? It was between his two periods of overseas exile. Pass. 
Which of the Beatles was brought up by his maternal aunt, Mimi Smith? John Lennon. Yes. Which river forms the boundary between Zambia and Zimbabwe? Pass. In a 2017 film adapted from a popular television series, Dwayne Johnson plays the lifeguard Mitch Buchanan, who protects the beaches with a brash new recruit played by Zac Efron. Which film? Baywatch. Baywatch, of course. Six passes. The uh, Zambezi River forms the boundary between Zambia and Zimbabwe. Bonaparte led his country during the Hundred Days. A baron of beef is what you get when you join a pair of sirloins together. Stone Chat is the bird that sounds like two pebbles being knocked together. Christopher Eccleston played the father of three in uh, Come Home, and Theodolite was that basic surveying instrument. You have now, Leah, 15 points. <laughs> and next in the chair is Bruce. And uh, you start out, Bruce, with... Uh, Nine points, and let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Here we go, two minutes. Arabica, generally described as mild and robusta, are the two major commercial types of beans used to make what beverage? Coffee. Yep, Wet Wet Wet's version of Love is All Around features in which 94 romantic film comedy starring Hugh Grant? Love, actually. Four weddings and a funeral. What is the name of the brother of Mary and Martha of Bethany whom Jesus raised from the dead? Lazarus. Yes, which American politician was driving the car that Mary Jo Kopechny drowned in after it went off an unmarked bridge on Chappaquiddick Island in 1969? Ted Kennedy. Yes, athletes from which African country won nine consecutive Olympic gold medals in the men's steeplechase between 1984 and 2016? Kenya. Yes, The Naked and the Dead, published in 1948, was a debut novel of an American author who based it partly on his experiences serving with the Army in the Pacific during the Second World War, who was it? William Faulkner. Norman Mailer. What shade of red takes its name from the French for cherry? Cerise. Yes. The rivalry between the Ewing and Barnes families is a central feature of what television soap opera? Dallas. Yes. The root of the herb Panax is prized as a panacea in China and is said to boost male libido. By what name of Chinese origin is it better known? Ginseng. Yes. Which capital city stands on the River Tagus near its entrance to the Atlantic Ocean? Lisbon. Yes. Which valley in South Australia is one of the country's oldest wine-growing areas, dating back to 1847, when Johann Gramp planted a vineyard on his property at Jacob's Creek. Barossa Valley. Yes. What was the name of the father of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, who wrote the simple Toy Symphony, formerly attributed to Haydn? Joseph Mozart. Leopold. Which comedian who died in March 2018 described himself as Professor Yaffel Chuckabutty, operatic tenor and sausage knotter, early in his performing career? Uh, Ken Dodd. Yes. Which chemist and inventor who was born in Penzance in 1778 wanted to be a poet before he turned to science? Some poems by him were published in a collection edited by Robert Southey. William Davy. Humphrey Davy. Which London airport is served by the Piccadilly Underground Line? Uh, Heathrow. Yes. What one-word exclamation is the title of a work by Roy Lichtenstein in which he shows an American warplane shooting down the enemy in comic strip style? Pow. Wham. Who became the first performer to win the Eurovision Song Contest twice when the Irish entry Hold Me Now won in 1987? Johnny Logan. Yes. Catherine Morland is the heroine of which Jane Austen novel? Pass. Oh, well, I can tell you time's up. It's your only pass. In fact, not Anger Abbey. Okay. You now have a total, Bruce, of 21 points. And next into the chair is Jack. And uh, you start out, Jack, with ten points. Well, let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Here we go. Whose statue, complete with a pipe and deerstalker hat, stands outside Baker Street Underground Station in London? Sherlock Holmes. Yes. What word for a chart that shows the division of the year into months and days comes from the Latin for an account book? Calendar. Yep. The adjective postprandial means after what? Pass. A collection of Shakespeare's plays was put together and edited by the actors John Heminge and Henry Condell and printed in 1623. What is it called? First Folio. Yes. Which country won both the FIFA Under-17s and Under-20s World Cups in 2017? 
England. Yes. Soe, an island in the St Kilda group beyond the Outer Hebrides, gives its name to what is considered to be one of the most primitive breeds of which farm animal? Pig. Sheep. Which long-running children's television programme shares its name with a flag that is flown by a ship about to leave port? Balamori. Blue Peter. What name is given to the lowest temperature at which the vapour from a volatile liquid can be briefly ignited? Combustion. Flashpoint. Who made UK chart history when she became the first British female solo artist to have six chart-topping singles when she featured on Rudimentals These Days in March 2018? Jess Glynn. Yes. The River Wensum flows through the centre of an East Anglian cathedral city. Which city? Norwich. Yes. In a speech in 2014, what name did George Osborne give to the group of cities in the north of England whose economies he proposed to develop with new transport links and job opportunities? The Northern Powerhouse. Yes. What name is given to the battlefield described in the Book of Revelation where the final struggle between the forces of good and evil takes place on Judgment Day? Pass. The author, Eric Arthur Blair, who was born in Bengal in 1903, became better known by what name? George Orwell. Yes. Which singer married Priscilla Bolia at the Aladdin Hotel in Las Vegas on the 1st of May 1967? Elvis Presley. Yes. What French term that means eat all is used for the kind of flat pea pod cooked and eaten whole when it's young? Petit Mange too. Which American architect's works include Falling Water, a house built in the 1930s over a waterfall in the Allegheny Mountains near Pittsburgh? Richard Rogers. Frank Lloyd Wright. In what year is the 2017 sequel to Blade Runner set? 2049. Yes. In which country is the city of Cusco, the capital of the former Inca Empire? Peru. Yes. Which city, the state capital of South Australia, is named after the consort of King William IV? Brisbane. Adelaide. Ah. Two passes. Armageddon, the name, of course, of that final encounter on Judgment Day. And postprandial means after a meal. You have, Jack, 21 points. Thank you. And finally into the chair, Jenny with 13 points. And, Jenny, as you know very well, 21 is still the score to beat, so here we go. Nashville, known as Music City, is in which American state? Tennessee. Yes. What name is given to a member of the House of Lords who does not have a party affiliation and he or she sits on one of the benches in the middle of the chamber? Crossbencher. Yes. Which county, where Daphne du Maurier lived for many years, provided the inspiration and setting for several of her novels? Devon. Corbin. Which Queen of France was the 11th daughter of Empress Maria Theresa of Austria and the Holy Roman Emperor Francis I? Queen Claude. Marie Antoinette. Common or base 10 and natural are two of the forms of a system of calculation invented by John Napier. What's it called? Pass. Who plays Auntie Wainwright, the keeper of a second-hand shop in Last of the Summer Wine? She's also known for her portrayal of Hilda Ogden in Coronation Street. Pass. Kerry Katona, Natasha Hamilton and Elizabeth McLarnon were the original members of what pop group formed in Liverpool? Atomic Kitten. Yes. On which island in the Aegean Sea, one of the smallest of the Cyclades, did Leto give birth to Artemis and Apollo, according to Greek legend? Crete. Delo. What type of trousers with a bib front and shoulder straps takes its name from a fabric that is traditionally made in Mumbai? Dungarees. Yes. What breed of dog is crossed with a corgi to produce a doggy? Doberman. Dachshund. What is the name of the salted belly of pork, very similar to streaky bacon, that's an important ingredient in Italian cooking? Salt. Pancetta. Which author was born the sixth child of John Marshall Clemens in the small town of Florida, Missouri, on the 30th of November, 1835? Tennessee Williams. Mark Twain. What name is used in Britain to describe a golf score of three under par on a single hole? Birdie. Albatross. Crystal Palace Park in South London is most famous for its life-size model of extinct creatures created by the sculptor Benjamin Waterhouse Hawkins in about 1854. What creatures? Shark. Dinosaurs. Which Czech composer wrote the opera Rosalka? The work includes Song to the Moon, which features in the film Driving Miss Daisy. Pass. An EVA, or extravehicular activity, was first performed by the Soviet cosmonaut Alexei Leonov in March 1965. It is better known by what name? Who plays Mia Wallace, the actress wife of a crime boss in Pulp Fiction? 
Uma Thurman. Yes, what is the name of the waterway whose features include Lake Gatun and the Pedro Miguel and Mila Flores locks? Suez Canal. Panama. Mark Chagall's stained glass peace window is a memorial to Dag Hammarskjöld at the New York headquarters of which organisation? International Bank. United Nations, the UN. You had four passes, the EVA, that's uh, a spacewalk. Uh, Vorjak was the Czech composer who wrote Rosalka. Jean Alexander plays Auntie Wainwright and uh, Hilda Ogden. And um, common base 10, all of that weird mathematical stuff, logarithms. Jenny, those four passes, you have scored 18 points. Now, an interesting result. Let's have a look at uh, all of the scores. In fourth place, 15 points, Leah. Third place, 18 points, Jenny. Second place with 21 points and two passes, Jack. And in first place with 21 points and one pass, Bruce. So he takes the last place in the semi-finals. <laughs> Doesn't get closer than that. If you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for the semi-finals. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>